billions have been taught that Sunday is the Sabbath for the Christian church. Yet time and time again, when their leaders are asked to share scripture to prove the Sabbath was changed, never once have any of them supplied a single Bible verse. Now, yes, many of the Christians in such churches are taught to present out-of-context verses that they claim proves the Sabbath was changed. But when they are placed back in context using their very own Bibles, even they admit they never knew their pastor twisted it. Check out the list of verses placed back in context here when you get time. Now, seeing how all the pastors at Keep Sunday Holy were unable to share a single Bible verse to back their claim, some of them stand firm claiming that there's not a single Bible passage in the New Testament that speaks of the Seventh-day Sabbath after the cross of Christ when they claim it was changed. And so they claim that lack of Bible evidence is now their new banner for their Sunday Sabbath, even though they still have not a single Bible verse to present. But again, they are wrong. But what amazes me here is that these pastors were actually taught by their teachers to echo this lie about the Bible Sabbath without ever really doing a Bible study on this. I mean, not only is there a New Testament passage proving they are wrong, that is after the cross of Christ when they claim the Sabbath was abolished, there are many other verses declaring the Ten Commandments. All ten of them are still valid now and even on to eternity, no less. But the reason you clicked on this video is because of the title. And so to answer your question, is there a passage in the Bible that speaks of the Seventh-day Sabbath as a Christian Sabbath? Well, yes, there is. It's in Hebrews chapter 4, verses 4, 8, and 9. Check it out. It says, For he spake in a certain place of the seventh day on this wise, and God did rest the seventh day from all his works. For if Jesus had given them rest then would he not afterward have spoken of another day? There remaineth therefore a rest to the people of God. Now, as is obvious here, the book of Hebrews was penned by Paul the Apostle decades after the cross of Christ. And this passage clearly speaks of the seventh-day Sabbath, wherein God rested from all his works in creation week, when the very first Sabbath was sanctified in the Garden of Eden. Paul even states that Jesus did not change it by saying what he did regarding the fact that if there was another day of rest besides the seventh-day Sabbath, Jesus would have mentioned it. In other words, Paul is saying that if Jesus would have given them rest or a new Sabbath to keep, would he not have mentioned it? Now for the clincher. It is clear we see Paul is speaking of a day of rest that was instituted in creation week on the seventh day, wherein God himself rested, proving this is all about the Sabbath. And Paul further confirms this to be a Christian Sabbath due to him saying, if it wasn't our Sabbath, Jesus would have spoken of another day of rest for us. But notice the word rest in verse 9 here. That word rest comes from the Greek word sabbatismos, which by definition is a keeping Sabbath. And it was mentioned that this Sabbath would be on the seventh day in this passage. Please share this with as many as possible. For soon the powers that be are going to go forth demanding all keep Sunday holy so as to stop the natural disasters they declare to be climate change when in fact they actually herald the second coming of Jesus Christ. When they do this, those precious souls you shared this truth with are going to remember exactly what you said. Because truth like this cannot be unheard due to the fact that the Lord himself is the author of this truth. It will come to their minds at the perfect time and they will then be moved to make the long prophesied decision to obey the Lord unto eternal salvation or obey the dying God of this world unto eternal damnation. Thank you for watching. God bless.